The search for a missing Richland County man continues this evening. The Department of Natural Resources is now searching the Congaree River for Zelig Williams. The 28-year-old was last seen leaving his home on Longwood Drive in Richland County on October 3rd. His car was found just off Bluff Road in the Palmetto Trail parking lot on October 4th. Family, friends and law enforcement were searching that area over the weekend and continue their efforts today. WIS reporter Ashley Jones has more. Hannah and Judy, I spoke to this family earlier this afternoon and they are just absolutely devastated. They told me that this is just not like Williams to go days without talking to his friends or his family, especially his mother. Now, the search that we saw earlier this afternoon has really ramped up. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is now out here at the Palmetto Trail, uh, continuing that search for Williams. And like I said, I spoke to the family earlier this afternoon and they are still just hoping to find just a shred of evidence that could point them to Williams. We love you, Z, um, and we hope you come home soon. It's this family's mission to find their loved one, Zelig Williams. We're, we, we can't describe that. It's devastation. It's devastation for someone who's so close to their family to disappear in this way. There's no way to describe that. Miyoka Corbin Jacobs, Williams' cousin, describes him as a pillar of light filled with love and a tremendous amount of talent. Uh, sixth grade started dancing with Southern Strut, um, and that speared off into his Richland County one uh, school district, Dre High School. He was doing theater and dance there as well, and of course led him to Broadway, um, which a lot of people know him for as well. Um, but he came back home to bring that talent to help others. Jacob says Williams moved back home to Richland County a few months ago and was preparing to teach another dance class later this month. He was last seen leaving his home in Richland County early Thursday morning around 9. His car was then found a day later in this parking lot around 11 Friday night. We, we searched on foot uh, in the air uh, various locations. Um, there's other investigative techniques that we will use that involve um, cell phones and some other things that I don't want to discuss at this point. Sheriff Lott told me that right now they're investigating this as a missing person that could involve some sort of foul play. But I just want to give you a little bit more uh, context about the Palmetto Trail. Uh, I did some research earlier this afternoon, and this trail runs more than 300 miles. It wraps around the uh, watery swamp here, and it has about 31 different passageways. So, of course, it is not going to be a huge search, but this family is going to continue it on. Uh, they'll be out here again tomorrow morning at 8, and we'll continue to follow this as much as we can. But for now, reporting live here in Richland County, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10. All right, Ashley, thank you for that update. If you have any information, you are asked to contact the Richland County Sheriff's Department.